I went on the Honors College Study Abroad to London, Edinburgh, and we studied Harry Potter culture. So that was a really fun trip, a little different maybe than a normal trip. It was a spring break study abroad, and it's actually a course that counts for credit. The entire trip was about Harry Potter, and basically we visited places around the country uh, relating to Harry Potter in some way, shape, or form, or ancient Anglo-Saxon mythology in general. Like we visited Stonehenge in Glastonbury one day, and Glastonbury is where uh, King Arthur mythology uh, is revolved around. Just finished climbing Arthur's seat. Currently I'm standing outside the beautiful Edinburgh Castle, which is known as a main landmark in this uh, gorgeous city. I think the Harry Potter-esque um, part of the course really appealed. I think for my age group and my peers, uh, Harry Potter was a very large part of our childhoods. And so to be able to then come to Purdue and study that is something you're not really gonna see anywhere else. And it was kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity. As an English major, I've always been really interested in like going to England just to like see the culture and understand what goes on there just because there is so much great literature that comes from England since they have so much history. Basically, I got to go and travel in Europe and study Harry Potter, and I'm one of the biggest Harry Potter nerds, and it was so cool because it was literally a group of students that were all just obsessed with Harry Potter, but we got to go and see the actual influences, and we did a lot of different tours um, with tour guides that their company literally specialized in finding the influences and showing you the different places where J.K. Rowling got her inspiration or maybe the films. Probably my favorite day was at Warner Bros. Studios. That was just really cool. They had the actual sets that they filmed everything on and you got to see all the costumes and everything that went behind the scenes. Obviously meeting Daniel Radcliffe, the Harry Potter, on our Harry Potter trip was very special. We went as a group to see him perform um, and another student and I actually ran into him before the show started just at the stage door. It was very random. I loved going to Scotland. We were in Edinburgh and it was an amazing city. It was a little bit of a mixture of the old world with the new world because even their new town was built a few centuries ago. So everything is very historic, very gorgeous, and just has history everywhere. More than anything, I would say it's physically being there and physically seeing and feeling the culture difference and seeing all of the history just in the buildings and the places in the specific places that J.K. Rowling herself studied or walked. It's that whole atmospheric element that you wouldn't get in a classroom. This trip was very unique in one sense that it was interdisciplinary and so I was learning in a very hands-on way with people from every different major. It reminded me that America isn't the world, like the, outside of the United States there's other countries with different pra practices, different ways of living life, different types of people. It really made me realize how small the world is and like how connected we are. There's no time ever in your life that you can have an experience just like this. I would recommend it to anybody I, I talked to about it. I loved it so much. It is worth it. Just being able to go to a place where people think differently than you, act a little bit differently than you, gives you a greater perspective on the world. It's very fun, typically, um, super educational, but at the same time, it just broadens your horizons and gives you a greater view of what's out there.